What's up? Good day. Today we will answer the question what the heck is this damn Yggdrasil tree? What does it do? Like why is it so complicated? Will it help me to be stronger? Will it feed my family? All right. Well first and foremost, what is the Yggdrasil spirit? AKA the divine tree, AKA the spirit tree. Now this tree is typically another way to boost your character by unlocking more bonus stats and effects like it does in your adventure handbook. But this tree includes skills, usable items, and some more. We'll look into it. Now how does it work? Well, similar to the Aesir Monument, to get to this point, you need to pass by this, 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 and this. Now there are several branches, one, two, three, four, five, six branches. And each branch you can only get to each point by starting from the root or the initial branch. Now how do I unlock this tree? You do the damn quest. Easy, just follow changes outside the city quest. It's this thing right here on the right part of your screen. Now the quest starts with a tree being an egg, yes a big ass egg. Before there was the Yggdrasil, there's this Yggdrasil. And as you progress with the quest, the tree grows along with it. Now you can stop with the unlock of the tree or you can continue the quest to which you can receive 2000 hourglass and you can even get yourself a pet a baby gumiho this cute little thing right here now the hourglass what is the hourglass well the hourglass is what you need to level your fourth job skills up that's right you need mats to level up skills now we will talk about this again later but first let us focus on this goddamn tree Parts of the tree, the nodes, the only part or parts of the tree. Now each node is special. It can give you a blueprint you can craft for unlocking stats, an item you can equip, a passive buff you can use to kill mobs faster in wasteland, or a blueprint for an item you can use like the furnace. I'll show you this later. Now the most important part of the tree maybe is a buff or the buffs you can use to loot our glasses faster. Hence more mats for leveling up your four job skills how do you level up these nodes well you need materials from wasteland there are three main materials that you need a maple agate the wilderness dust and the ancient remains now these are the materials you need to level your three nodes now where else can i get hourglass we talked about the ancient furnace a while ago this is the ancient furnace. Let's go ahead and craft it and let's show you how it works. So you simply exchange the materials you gain in Wasteland like the Maple Agate where you get three in exchange for one, the Wilderness Dust one for one, and Ancient Remains where you need to have 10 pieces to get one piece of hourglass. Simple as that. Note that you can also get hourglasses from doing daily quests. You can see them on the map right here. You can check your progress. There are six of them that you can do daily to get more hourglass. And that is basically what the tree is and why it is important. Now that you understand some of it, let me give an even more basic explanation. Finish the quests to unlock the tree. Kill the mobs to get materials. Use these materials to upgrade the tree. If you have a better tree, you can get more hourglass. If you finish your dailies, you can get hourglass. If you exchange your materials, you can get hourglass. Use these hourglasses to level up your fourth job skills, which makes your character stronger. And if you need an in-depth look at these nodes and requests, I will maybe make a video explaining further on them one by one. So let me know if you need it. Noob.